Yeah, no, thanks indeed. Uh, we really appreciate the support uh, from the public, the media, you know. It's not often that we got such a, a, a huge media turnout in terms of the under-23. So uh, coming to the game itself, yeah, you know, the game I think came out the way one would have sort of expected it. Uh, a team that sits, a team that plays out with a long pass, you know, they change the team like we change the team as well. A little bit strong and aggressive in the midfield. I thought we started off very nicely, uh, you know, opened them up, but we were a little bit uh, anxious, you know, in the final third, not finding the right pass, you know, uh, to connect and take advantage of the openings that we, we, we had to settle the nerves, you know, and the anxiety by taking a lead. And of course, then um, also important, then uh, midway through, we thought of started playing a different game, you know, and I told them half time that the team that is playing there is not a team that I know. It's not a team that trained for two days, you know, uh, to try to, to, to prepare. And then you could see we considered a free goal, of course, you know, from giving the ball away and not uh, 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 defending properly uh, on the wing. And then second half, it was important, like I said to the boys, that uh, go back, put the ball down, play, don't be scared of, you know, uh, playing out with a short build-up. Uh, and then once we found that and we opened them, we came through the midfield, I think uh, our progression of playing to the final third, you could see a little bit that we lacked rhythm, you know, we lacked uh, the combination, the right combinations. But I think the game was down to uh, decision-making and uh, we scored a very good goal, you know, with Mdu coming and making immediate impact, which was part of the game plan, you know, to try to inject more pace uh, into our attack, whether we were leading or we were behind. Unfortunately, we were behind. So, yeah, I think 1-1, one, one, one will take it is what it is, is what we sort of mentally prepared for. Uh, but we got a big fight, of course, going into uh, 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 the second leg. Uh, and I'm sure we are with you. I told the team that we are a team that will always score a goal. And that gives me confidence to say we can go and t t turn the tie around. You know, we scored two away in Togo. So who says we can't go to, to uh, uh, sorry, in Togo and now we're going to Congo. Uh, I think we are worthy of at least one goal, which could be enough to take us through. But I think we can go two or three. But it's important that we play the quality of football and brand of football that doesn't uh, uh, favor the opposition. You know, especially when we're playing long and direct is what favored them and then they gave us problems uh, with the 10 overs you know especially when our full backs are out of position and finding the passes in behind them so yeah so far not the best result yes not happy with the result entirely of course because you want to win at home because that gives a bit of an advantage but uh, it's a situation that we are in but i think i'm confident that uh, we can go turn the tie around in congo Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, all protocol observed. Um, obviously, for me, I think uh, we started the game well. Uh, I think we, uh, throughout the game, throughout the first half, I think we, we got a bit anxious, like Coach said, and um, I think for us, we started playing it, uh, a game that uh, favoured them, and obviously uh, that was not a part of our game plan. So for us, uh, that favoured them. Uh, but second half, when we came back, I think we started playing a bit more and uh, that gave us uh, some more momentum, you know, playing the style that we know that uh, favours us. Obviously, they bigger, um, more physical. Um, so for us to, to rotate the ball and keep the ball, obviously to frustrate them a bit, obviously uh, was going to help us. Um, we knew that they coming here, obviously, to, to just sit back and, and, and not come at us um, that much and just play on turnovers so we had to minimize the turnovers but obviously um, they scored from from a turnover and a, a cross from out wide so obviously we'll go back and, and look at that but um, yeah I think uh, the game the result was obviously not what we would have wanted would have obviously wanted to win at home but um, it's not over we go there obviously we believe in what we have and our talent obviously I think the guys are more than capable to to, to go out there and, and win Est-ce qu'on peut nous aider cette télé Congo pour euh, un, avec un interprète qui pourrait Okay, can you please hold on to our gate track please? Thank you. Oh, we know I listen. Can you ask the coach? Yes, please. Yeah, so coach, bien. Coach euh, nous félicitations avec la qualité que nous venons de voir sur le terrain. 
Alors, à quel moment euh, vos jeunes ont-ils perdu so, le match Yeah, coach, after seeing, obviously, is it a good thing now that you know this, the, the kind of team that, that you faced in terms of Congo ahead of the, the, the return day? Yeah, look, uh, uh, thanks. Maybe to clear up the air, I don't know if maybe we can make it a joint interview uh, because that's what it seems like it's turning out to be, uh, you know. But yeah, coming to your question, yeah, of course, we knew the kind of team they are. You know, and I don't think uh, they will change their style and their approach, to be honest with you. Hence, I'm saying that we also have to keep playing to our strength. And uh, we look at, uh, you know, you know, you take away the, the freak goal that we considered, which is a very good goal, by the way. And uh, we knew that uh, their wing play is very good. A different player so from the last one. So, guys, please keep respect. Quiet. Keep quiet. It's a press conference. Keep quiet or go out. Keep quiet or go out. You are disturbing this. Yeah. So, so as I'm saying, I think uh, uh, we know how best way to play, and uh, I think uh, we know the team that we are against, and uh, we just have to knuckle down, work harder, put in a, a good fight, and use our talent, you know, uh, to get through this uh, uh, tie. Um, a little bit disappointed also, you know, with. Uh, our set plays, you know, our deliveries, we didn't connect really from the corners that we had, you know. So those are the areas we'll look at. But I'm confident that uh, we can go out there and uh, turn this tie around. To kick and as players, I mean, the team has been to the previous Olympic Games. Uh, as players, is, is it something you think about? Does it put pressure on you? Because South Africans are used to this team. Look, um, <clears throat> I don't think it's pressure. I think it's more of motivation for us um, to know what, that we're working towards something, obviously. Uh, it would be a great feeling for us also to, to, to qualify for, for the African Cup of Nations and from there to obviously go to Olympics. Obviously, that's the main goal, you know. So for us, we, we know, and this is motivation for us, it's not a lot of pressure, you know. Obviously, pressure comes with the game. That's just part of the game. But it's how we deal with it and, and turn that pressure into motivation. Yeah, we spoke about it, you know, and, and it's an expectation. Uh, it's what we want. It's what South Africa wants. So I don't think uh, uh, the boys were, were under any form of pressure, really, you know. Uh, talking of going to the uh, uh, qualification for AFCON and uh, the Olympics, the most important thing was to focus on this game, you know, and look at how we came into this game uh, on the backdrop of a very hectic PSL program, bringing in players, you know. So now going into Congo, we'd have been together for more days. And yesterday you could see the team starting to have a feel of uh, cohesion, to be honest with you. And uh, hence, I'm saying the way we started showed that, you know, uh, 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 the cohesion is there. Then when the pressure comes, like normal young players, and this is the experience that they'll take, then suddenly, you know, you start to see uh, things that you didn't train, you know. And again, of course, then players play according to how they play in their clubs, isn't it? So I had to quickly come in half time and uh, knuckle it down and bring it together again. And we'll continue to do that, you know. We created a lot of good uh, opportunities and they will look into it and see uh, uh, the final pass, maybe not the right one, the delayed pass, not the right one. You know, we worked on crossing and finishing only one session, by the way, yesterday. No complaining, you know, but now we have an opportunity to fine tune that. And I think uh, we will open them for sure. Then we need to improve on uh, the final third, especially, you know, anxiety part, uh, decision making, individual. I was happy with Mdu, you know, that's a quality that every player brings into the team. Titus started well, you know, but as the game wore on, wore on, then you see that the game is no more suiting him because he's constantly looking to run in behind, you know, instead of coming into the pockets. And uh, when we changed our approach a little bit and players, bringing players offensively that can play inside and outside, I think we looked a little bit better. And possibly we didn't push enough for, for, for the second goal, you know, but yeah, that's so it is. Coach, uh, it's no secret that... You both wanted Maseko, the senior team, 
and you can see why we need to play it. Yeah. Um, but is there any temptation to try and get Cassius now for the second league if Fofana do the business tomorrow? <sighs> to be honest, that's not in my mind at the moment. You know, uh, and logistically, lo logistically as well, it comes with its own challenges. You know, we have a very, very talented group of players. You know, you'd wish, by the way, we played a team that has been together for a while, and you can see it. Eh? Uh, some players have Chan experience, probably a lot more players with Chan experience compared to the analysis that we did coming into this game. Players coming out of their under 20s, the left back is playing for the senior team, uh, Mulunga. So, so yeah, I, I would say, unless if they say Cassius is available, but we made a decision. So we have to give these guys experience. You know, Radio Pani came in, he did very well, but you can see a little bit of, um, you know, immaturity in the final third. Uh, Ashley, you know, showed aggression. These are the experiences they have to pick up, you know, and I think the most important lesson now is when you are in this situation, which maybe a lot of them is the first time they are in, you know, how do you deal with it? You know, so we have to do whatever it takes to cross the line because Bafana games are about this, you know, sometimes it's a bad result when you drew at home, but you know what, when you go away, then you knuckle down and get the result that uh, is not expected. And this team, remember, uh, they also went through Tunisia against our expectations, to be honest. So as I said, I knew we were playing a very, very tough good competitive maybe more competitive team you know tactically i think we edge it a bit maybe just to add on the question you can think you were part of the squad that was put on court by coach of Bros, and then not making the final card and having to come with under 23 the mindset does it totally motivate you to say that if i work harder here you know i'll get more and more works for the coach or you're a bit you know, <laughs> not enough motivated to have not made the final card that side look obviously um as a player, it's always good to be included in that. It means you're in the pool, you know. You're closer, closing, edging closer, you know. So at some point, it has to, to give. But obviously, it's not like it's a step down because this is also a very competitive level. Uh, under 23, you know, this is our professional players. You know, it's not like uh, we are playing amateurs, you know. Um, so the level, you can see, is very high. Teams are tactically very good, tactically aware. So you also need to, to, to knuckle down, you know. It's, it's never going to be easy, no matter if it's senior or, or, or under 23, you know. It would be a good experience to obviously work with Coach Hugo, but obviously my mind is with the under 23, I'm here now, so obviously I'm working hard to try and get the team to the AFCON. Coach, have you, how much of uh, mental preparation have you to focus on the head of the team? Because you can clearly see that these guys are aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, no, we spoke about uh, these elements and you could see towards the end, you know, they were falling down, buying time, but it's part of international football. Uh, yeah, coming to, to that side, as I'm saying, it's going to be very, very, very important that we focus on what we have to do on the pitch. Uh, and the most important thing is uh, that uh, uh, we continue to give the players the confidence. And the confidence comes from doing the analysis and see the positive things that we did in this game and correct, you know, uh, the challenges that we might have uh, there and there, you know, but we have to play with a little bit more aggression, a little bit more fight, you know. I don't think we took uh, enough risks into the box because that's also one of the elements based on our technical ability, you know. I don't think uh, uh, in the attacking final third we took enough, you know, play into the box that could result into potential penalty situations, for example. So that's also because they're a physical team, anyhow, you know. So, so we'll come up with strategies to make sure that we give ourselves a, an advantage. And of course, important is that we defend properly. So from a mental perspective, I think the players are disappointed. Of course they are, you know, but they also know that uh, the team they are playing now, you know, it's not a team, it's not a, a, an easy team, it's not a walk in the park. Uh, so, yeah, mentally I still have confidence and I think they have belief. You know, at one day when we came in the change room, uh, it was important, you know, to make them realize and believe that the way we are playing, you know, is, there's nothing wrong. It's just the little details about the game, you know. So, for me, that, that's the first most important thing. We are traveling tonight. 
unfortunately, you know, and get there quickly, and then we'll recover tomorrow. And during this recovery process, we we'll look at the game and start to talk to players individually, because a lot of them gave quite a shift, to be honest. Swane, remember, he hasn't been playing for the last few weeks, but we managed to push him up to, uh, you know, 80, 85th minute. So yeah, those are the things that shows that the character is there. Skipper, do you expect your you know, the, your combination play at the back to be a lot better now that you've seen? Because we've seen the second half also, you you looked a lot better. Your yeah. your combination with the, with, with Roshin and the, 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 the back, do you expect a way to be a lot smoother? Because you've seen what they can offer. Yeah, look, um, I think like Coach said, I think amongst the, the group we haven't trained a lot together, but obviously as you can see. The cohesion now, it's, it's getting together, you know, that feel. We're getting a feel to know each and everyone what their strengths are and playing towards that, you know. I think as a collective, as a, as a team, you know, the cohesion is there. The way we play, we understand. We know what's expected from us. So obviously, I think going forward, obviously in the next time, I think we, we can only expect better from ourselves. Coach, uh, thoughts on uh, Chauke since it was his uh, first international game in the country? Yeah, look, uh, you can see why we didn't start him, isn't it? You know, uh, and, and we have to be careful about uh, the timing of when we, we bring him because the game was going to be physical. Uh, the game was going to require, you know, a lot of energy, a lot of running. And that was my big fear. You know, also uh, perhaps him first time being exposed to playing against African opposition at this level, you know. So there was a lot of things to consider, uh, but the, the, the most important overriding issue was, you know, he spent three days, you know, not really settled, not really connected with the team. He missed two training sessions. Uh, so, but yeah, in terms of the minutes he gave him, as I said, not enough. Of course, under difficult conditions, we have to be fair and honest uh, to him. Uh, so, but yeah, he did some good things, you know, received the ball, combined well. But you can see that uh, he struggled a little bit with uh, having the energy to help us when we don't have the ball. And at the time, we needed everyone to really push themselves and work hard. So now he'll be, I think, better integrated into the group. And uh, I'm sure that uh, he will add uh, some value and it also gives us an idea in terms of where he is because this is international football. You know, it's not club football, but yeah, he's a player with huge potential. You can see that he's got a football brain, he knows how to play the game. It's just for him to, to, to connect with the group. Just the logistics of the trip, coach. You say you'll be playing out tonight. Uh, how long does it take to get there? Yeah, look, uh, we'll spend about, what, nine, nine hours totally uh, traveling via uh, Rwanda. We have a two, two hour layoff, so we arrive that site. We're leaving at 3 a.m arriving that site at 10.35. You know, then we have the rest of the day to, to sort of rest, recover, and have a light recovery session, and then uh, we'll be good to, to go in terms of preparation. At least we have a two-day preparation, and I don't think uh, we'll have too, too much issues in terms of logistics, because, you know, logistics are also about the plan you put in place for yourself, because these are things you expect. So our accommodation, I think, is sorted and, and decent. Uh, uh, the training pitch shouldn't be a problem as well. So my worry was more on <laughs> the accommodation because that affects, you know, their recovery in terms of rest and freshness. Yeah. So if I can, um, obviously today you mentioned earlier set plays it didn't quite go the way you would have wanted. I think you know that they were going to be physical and kind of break up our play. That's generally what will happen. Do you expect the same approach going there? Do you think they want to play more or are they going to be disruptive again? And Obviously, in terms of set plays, how do you now remedy yeah. what you felt went wrong today? Yeah, look, uh, of course, uh, I don't expect them to change uh, because if you look at most, you know, TRC or Con Congo Brazzaville teams, it's the style of play in the region, to be honest. First, physicality, aggression, fight, you know, and uh, uh, that will remain the game. I think the most important thing is talking of our play out from the back, you know, we have to fine tune that and uh, be more precise. Sometimes we had misplaced passes, you know, uh, that gave them opportunities to intercept. So, so yeah, those are the things we, we, we have to sharpen and sharpen our attack because when we breached the aggression in trying to stop us from playing out, I mean, you could see there are many moments in my mind 
where it's about the decision. Do we go direct? Do we go wide? When we've gone wide, do we come in with a cross because that's what they expect? Or do we come in again and play into the pockets? Titus had a fantastic training uh, pattern of play where he could have gone with his left foot. You know, on. Those are the things we worked on. Yeah, the set play, I think what would change is uh, because we had two approaches. First, you know, we went a lot direct. And I, uh, uh, I said to Coach Coppo, then you can see we started to change and look more for short corners because we had a lot of corners going to the keeper, which is a transition and a counter with a long pass, which stretched the team a little bit. And they gave us problems with that, you know. So I think we'll work uh, harder to sharpen our, you know, second approach to corners, which is short corners, which would shoot us again in terms of uh, uh, our technical abilities because the direct ones. You know, they have the height, they have the aggression, they, have, they brought in a keeper who's different to what we actually expected and it dealt very well with the uh, direct corners, long co corners going in. So my disappointment is we also have big boys, by the way, you know, all the way to uh, Rushwin, uh, but none of them really kick in, you know, none of them really had a connection on any of the balls. So that, that's a cause for concern because then uh, uh, it means then we have to find another way to bring them into the equation and that's what we're going to do. Thank you, Coach. Uh, I tried to keep the press conference longer because the comedy's coach just stormed out because of the whole <laughs> incident that happened. 